This summer, I traveled to Panama with a study abroad group of 17 students from May 25th to June 15th. The first day we were dropped off at different points of the pipeline trail in Gamboa at about 5 in the morning. Before we were set to do our research, the instructors wished for us to listen to the forest wake up. The first sounds were those of insects. About five minutes later, the birds began to sing, and soon after that howler monkeys could be heard periodically. They are said to be the alarm clock of the forest. When we were finished in Gamboa, we traveled to Bocas del Toro, David, Los Quetzales, and Panama City to conduct our individual research projects. Some were purely scientific. On the outing in which this picture was taken, the group leader was researching the concentration of butterfly populations along the trail. This is a blue monarch, a butterfly said to be nearly impossible to catch. My research focused on discovering how the people of Panama feel about deforestation. This family who maintains an organic farm viewed it as a problem as changes that would occur would make them have to change the way they bring in their income. However, college students in Panama City were not as concerned with these matters because they believed that it is not their problem to worry about. I would have to say that my favorite experience on the trip was during a night excursion. The best part was when I had the opportunity to hold a caiman that one of the instructors had just caught, and to have frogs jump all over me as I walked along the trail. I believe that if students are able to afford to do so, they should take the opportunity to study abroad. I have twice. And each time, I feel as if my eyes are open to something new and important. Traveling makes me feel more alive, and I intend to study abroad again.